Well, I'm back. Now I have a uh, clear view of the semi-foggy form of Satan's face. And Demon Crow. Seriously, there's freaking Demon Crows. Here's what I'm going to do. I have a master plan. I'm going to creep forward. I'm going to grab the blood. I'm going to run like hell up the elevator and let him run past me. And then I'm going to go down that tunnel right behind him. It'll work, trust me. I, I know these things. I am a master strategician. Tactician, stratician. A stratician of work, not sure. Come on, come on, baby. I'm just gonna come right on up to you. Come on, little piggy, I'm right here. Piggy, you're fucking up my plan. No, oh no, 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 no. You are, you are great. You would never fuck up a plan. No, 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 I can already tell this thing could just fuck me up beyond all belief. This is why I'm not going to be fighting him. I am going to be pressing and holding the circle like this until he stops chasing me. I don't care if I have to run to the next country and I end up in Skyrim. I ain't fighting that shit. Is he gone? He's slowly wadding. You know, he has stuff in his room, but I don't care, you can keep it, it's yours. I, I would never take from you. That legitimately, not even kidding you, that legitimately terrified me. Bloodborne is, yeah. Bloodborne is, yeah, that's the only way to sum up this game. It'll rip out your soul and tear it apart and eat it and feed it to Satan's bacon. Oh. Oh. I just suddenly realized. Eh. Come on, move. How do I get that boulder down? I know that's what you're supposed to do now. This is the back side of that shortcut by the elevator I wasn't sure about. Oh, that was a bad I... Huh! I do not even begin to comprehend how I survived that. How do I roll this boulder? Come on. Come on, boulder. Yeah, it ain't budging. This boulder is not going to move. Unless the big guy is meant to push it down. But. I leave that alone now. So I can face the boulder, the big guy, and the mob of guys. Or. I can face Satan's bacon. I'll take the Nimrod next time. No, no contest. Ow! Ow! I have to remember that this is not Dark Souls. They do not attack twice and then sit down, get a coffee, and call, you know, their tits. They will just keep right on trucking. Nothing stops that. I have to stand far back and just make absolutely sure that they are done. Old Hunter's Mark. Okay, in this zone, definitely the lantern will be helpful. Uh, I recognize this place, and that is not good. Uh, hello? Is there friendly people in here?
Oh! Hi, Gascoigne! <laughs> Beasts all over the shop. You'll be one of them soon. Okay. Okay, we're doing this. Fuck yes. I have been looking forward to this boss for ages. And I do mean ages. Ow. Because it looks like it's going to be brutal, but a lot of fun at the same time. Dead within seconds of the fight. Well, that was very decisive. Suffice to say, I think I am going to need to improve my sword play by a considerable margin before I am able to take that on. But, you know what, it's a uh, few minutes run down there, since I know the way now. So, let's try that again, but to make sure I don't lose my souls, well, bloods, I'm going to equip the Bold Hunter's Mark. And if I'm getting my ass kicked nearly as hard, I am going to abort mission, leave, get some level ups or new weapons, either or, and try that again. What's weird though is I didn't hear his boss music playing, so it's, you know, maybe it's on a delay, like it only starts when you've chipped away his health a bit. Or maybe it just starts out really quiet and then gradually escalates. I guess we'll see when we get back there. Hello, Mud. Goodbye, Mud. Something I noticed, though, is that for some enemies, it takes a really long time for that, you know, buffer of health you can regenerate to disappear. And for other enemies, that buffer, like, disappears instantly. It is barely there. So... Makes me wonder, you know, is it the type of attack they're using? Or the type of enemy that it is? I realize since I can parry from a distance, I probably should, or at least, you know, start trying. Drop down here. Oh, throwing knives. That could be useful. Something I really like, you know, about this game, it's the same thing with the Soul series. Which is the fact that, you know, at first, it's just terrifying. You know, you have no idea what or where anything is. You're just super paranoid, super on guard all the time. But then, you know, after logging, you know, even a little bit of experience, you just start to memorize where everything is and what the best way to get to it is. And it just, you know, gets much more manageable. You really feel like you can take on the challenge and win. On another note, I will kill that pig. I don't care how long it takes. I will, I will kill the pig. Now, I wonder 
if the big guy is going to shove the boulder down on the littler guys. Okay, threaded cane R1. Call that. That threaded cane R1 is actually really, really quick. Like, I was afraid that since it didn't do much damage, it wouldn't be that viable. But it's so slow, I'm actually better off with the R1 when dealing with a group. Ow. Please don't kill me on the way to the boss, please. I really would not like that. You are going to ignore me and continue to slowly march at me. Carl, I'm God. Why didn't I use this attack style earlier? That was the worst time to attempt to parry! Damn it! Well, the choice of whether or not I should pick up those souls from Gascoigne's boss room has officially been made up. This is going to be a bit of an ordeal. 